And on to the Beijing Winter Olympics now and the attempts to keep it, quote unquote, out of politics. A Ukrainian uh, skeleton slider who between uh, runs held up a sign reading no war in Ukraine did not repeat it after contact with the International Olympic Committee. The athlete uh, used his moment in the Olympic spotlight to make the gesture of peace after competing his third run in the men's skeleton event. The IOC spokesperson said that immediately uh, they immediately rather approached him and explained that while everyone wants peace, it has been agreed to keep the field politics free. And still in Beijing, heavy snow fell throughout Sunday there, disrupting several events and forcing athletes to battle through bad, bad weather conditions in the, uh, in the uh, pursuit of gold, obviously. Environmentalists in the build-up to the Games in the Chinese capital had voiced concern about the Olympics taking place in one of the driest parts of China and relying almost entirely on man-made snow. But Sunday was the exact opposite problem, too much snow together with free Freezing fog and temperatures plunging to minus 6 degrees Celsius by evening. So for everything Olympics, uh, let's uh, cross now live to Johnny Gold, podcast, podcast host of the Johnny Gold's Jewish State. So Johnny, let's start with snow. Who would have thought now disrupting uh, the <laughs> events? Uh, what's been ruined and what's the projections? Give us the latest. It's such a mad idea, isn't it, as you mentioned in the preview there, that they would host the Winter Olympics in a place where snow is almost non-existent, let alone rain. So uh, God love that man-made plan. <laughs> Uh, the snow has started to fall, so much so, and by the way, this Winter Olympics was designed around fake snow. Uh, it actually disrupted the competition today. So big fat flakes fell in all three of the locations that we've seen at the Beijing Games. And it was actually postponed, some of the events, and some were delayed by poor visibility. Wow. Um, but they made the most of it, uh, unaccustomed as they were to these fairy tale scenes. Uh, games workers dressed in head-to-toe hazmat suits rolled around in the snow that blanketed <laughs> Beijing. And indeed, they built a sort of snow panda, which is the official logo of the Beijing Games. So. Uh, I think all's well that ends well. Uh, but, you know, real snow to be at uh, the Winter Olympics, which disrupts things, is truly a 21st century take on international events, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, taking a lemon and making a frozen uh, lemonade out of it. And up to politics or lack thereof, Johnny, uh, which is in itself somewhat political. Since this incident was uh, smoothed over quite easily to an extent, this, uh, this athlete uh, carrying the Ukraine banner. Indeed. His name is Vladislav Heraskovich. He's a skeleton competitor from the Ukraine. And as you mentioned, he filled a sign with the Ukrainian flag on it, declaring there should be no war in his country. In other words, uh, there should be peace, which is kind of the core message of the Olympic Games. Indeed, there is uh, a code amongst world leaders to not fight during any Olympic competition. There's an Olympic truce which says don't declare war. And that was repeated by the IOC chief in front of Vladimir Putin at the opening ceremony. Not that I don't think he's particularly uh, perturbed by that. The last time the <laughs> were held in 2008, he was in Georgia like a flash fighting a pretty conventional war. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think there's any guarantees uh, of this being the case. But as you say, they had a word with Vladislav and uh, it doesn't look like he's uh, going to do it again. But nevertheless, what he did say was a core message, really, of the Olympic Games. Uh, no peace. And he made the point, didn't he, that again, I'll mention that uh, term in the 21st century. We've come again to a period of conventional war. Um, it's a very, very sad day, I think, for uh, the Ukrainians and indeed the Russians who are amassing on the military front as well. Uh, but it is a reality of these Winter Olympics, this, this uh, side dish, shall we say, of a potential war on the border of Ukraine and Russia.